Hello students! I am Teacher Alea and today we will be having our class in science about seasons in the Philippines. Before anything else, I would like to ask, how are you doing today? It's good to hear that you're doing well and fine. To start our class, let us all read our lesson objectives. So, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to recognize the different characteristics between the two seasons in the Philippines. And you are to create a Venn diagram for the different seasons in the Philippines and integrate awareness on weather changes in the community. Before we start with our lesson proper, let us have an activity first. And it is entitled, What Weather Am I? So you are to identify what type of weather is being shown in the picture and you are to choose your answers inside the box. So are you ready? Let's begin. So what type of weather is this? Very good, it's sunny day. How about this picture? Correct, it's cloudy day. Next, what about this picture? You are correct, it is rainy day. Next, what about this picture? What type of weather is it? Correct, it's stormy day. And for the last picture, what type of weather is this? Correct, it's windy day. Our daily routines are greatly affected with what type of weather we have on a certain day. Before anything else, let us recall some important terms first. First, what is weather? Any one of you who has an idea what is weather? Correct! Weather is the condition of the atmosphere in a particular place at a particular time. So, can you enumerate what are the different types of weather we had in our activity earlier? Thank you. So we have sunny day, cloudy day, rainy day, windy day, and stormy day. Correct? Now, what is climate? Anyone who would like to share their idea on what is climate? Correct. Climate is the average weather pattern in a certain area over a long period of time. So for today's lesson, we will now explore and identify the two different seasons in the Philippines. Other countries have four different types of seasons. Summer, Spring, Autumn, and Winter. However, in the Philippines, we only have two different types of seasons, the wet season and the dry season. The Philippines has two seasons, namely wet or rainy season and dry season. So these seasons varies in different places in the country. It has two distinct seasons which are greatly affected by the geographical and physical conditions of the country. So what is the difference between wet season and dry season? What happens during wet season? How about during dry season? So each season has unique characteristics and effect on the environment and people. So for us to remember the difference between wet season and dry season, we will be using hand signals. Closed fist means dry season and moving fingers means wet season. At this moment, we will try to identify if the picture that I will be showing to you belongs to dry season or wet season. Are you ready? Let's begin. So for our first picture, can you please describe what is being shown? 
Correct. So there are some pupils wearing raincoats and holding umbrellas. So where do you think it belongs? Correct. During rainy season. Next picture we have. What do you think it is? Correct, it's halo halo. So where do you think people usually wants to eat halo halo? Correct, during dry season. So for our next picture, can you describe what it is? Correct, it's a field experiencing extreme drought. So where do you think it belongs? Correct, it's dry season. For our last picture, can you describe what it is? Correct, it's bachoy. Now, where do you think it belongs? Correct, people usually want to eat bachoy during wet or rainy season. Very good, students! Let us all give a round of applause to ourselves. We can say that wet or rainy season is characterized by heavy rainfall throughout the country, while dry season is characterized by infrequent rainfall where we usually experience very hot temperature. So try to remember our hand signals earlier. Wet or rainy season usually comes from May to December, but the heaviest downpour in most areas is from July to October. The southwest monsoon or habagat blowing from the ocean brings the rain. When the northeast monsoon or amihan blows, it also brings rainfall in the eastern part of the country. So it is characterized by frequent rainfall and flooding, so most human activities are done indoor and warm foods are preferred. It is locally known as tagulan. This season is usually the planting of food crops. On the other hand, we have dry season. Filipinos also experience dry season which usually comes from January to early of May. In other places, there is short dry season, usually from March to May only. It is locally known as Tag-init or Tag-tuyot. This season is the best time for the farmers to harvest and dry their crops under the sun. So at this moment, we will be having a test. You will be answering the items that I will be giving to you. Read the directions carefully and answer the following items honestly. Alright, I will be only giving you 10 minutes to answer the test. For the first part, you are to fill in the missing words to complete the sentences below. So you can choose your answer in the word bank inside the box. Now let us all read the word banks inside the box. First we have temperature, dry, atmosphere, rainfall, wet, and weather pattern. Now let's read the paragraph. Weather, begin. Weather is the condition of the blank in a particular place at a particular time. Repeating weather condition over a period of time is called blank. The Philippines has two seasons, namely blank season and the dry season. Wet season is characterized by heavy blank throughout the country, which usually comes from June to December. Dry season is characterized by very hot blank with very little to or no rainfall at all. 
For the second part, you are to compare and contrast the two seasons in the Philippines by listing their distinct characteristics using a Venn diagram. So write their shared characteristic in the middle area. Is it clear? Now you may begin. I will only be giving you 10 minutes to answer the test. So at this moment, we will try to read and understand this question. Let us all read it. What is the importance of showing awareness about weather to positively accommodate their effects on our daily life? So you are to create a weather pattern table with your accompanied activities on a certain day. Also, you are to reflect on this question by writing a three-paragraph essay. Is it clear? Do you have any questions? If not, that ends our class. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Have a great day ahead and be safe always.